what's going on YouTube, it's Mad Hatter with another Mad Hatter TV. Hope all is going well in your life. I'm here to talk about the 2011 Video Music Awards. And um, it's pretty interesting. I was not really disappointed. I was pretty happy. Um, you know, normally when I watch BET Awards, <laughs> that's a different story. But we won't get into that. We're talking about the MTV Video Music Awards 2011, and I'm going to be giving my personal opinions on the performances and the uh, award winners, but these are just my opinions, so please do not take them seriously, but I do value your opinion, so please leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's talk about the winners. First and foremost, I want to get into... Um, the best female video, which was Lady Gaga, Born This Way. Now, I can agree with this. I like Lady Gaga's Born This Way. It was a really fun video. Um, a lot of people didn't really like the song. You know, the song isn't one of my best from Lady Gaga, but it was a great video, and everybody was dancing to it, especially people from the LGBT. I remember when I went to Chicago Gay Pride, and these people were going nuts about Lady Gaga, um, Born This Way. So, that was pretty cool. Moving on, Best New Artist, Tyler, the Creator, Yonkers. Now, I had my little, eh, about Tyler, the Creator. You know, I had my little stint. But Tyler, the Creator, you know, when I actually listened to his album and everything, and um, really took the time to uh, look at his music video, Yonkers, I was impressed. I mean, like, I don't like his personality. I still don't like it. But his music is incredible. And I'm I'm really impressed with the guy. And this is the first time that a actual new artist has won an award. So that's real cool. Uh, shout out to Tyler Creator. This is his very first video music award. Um, getting into best male video, Justin Bieber, You Smile. I think Justin Bieber has pretty much... Uh, decreased in his popularity um he needs a hit you smile yeah it's not, it's okay it's an okay song it's not a favorite i mean the only song that i really think i like from justin bieber um is up the song that he done with chris brown um that was pretty cool i like that song um Best collaboration, Katy Perry featuring Kanye West, E.T. I love Katy Perry, and I love Kanye West. So, this goes without mentioning that E.T., I am a big fan of E.T. Um, I actually sung E.T. once before. I never recorded it for YouTube because I'm kind of self-conscious about my voice. But, uh, E.T., it was a popular song. I mean... It kind of did the little Lady Gaga thing, but I'm not going to be <laughs> talking about that too much. But uh, it was impressive. Lady Gaga, oops, I'm so, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not intentionally do that. Katy Perry did a great job in uh, the video, and Kanye West uh, did a great job with just rapping. A lot of people don't like Kanye West's part. Um, but I think it sounds really good. I mean, it did a great job. And, speaking of Kanye West, I was incredibly impressed with his behavior this year. He did not do any of those crazy antics. He didn't interrupt anybody. He didn't act drunk. He wasn't crazy. He really maintained himself. And, I mean, you really get a round of applause. I'm really proud of you, Kanye West, because I didn't want people to keep talking crap about you. Because, you're my boy. Shy town boys gotta stick together, you know? Um, moving on. Best hip hop video, Nicki Minaj, Super Bass. <sighs> or, if you're like Jersey Shore, you'll say, uh, is it Super Bass? But, <laughs> Super Bass, it was. Mm, super Bass, it's okay, you know? You kind of really get a chance to see Nicki Minaj dance legitimately, and uh, that was pretty cool. Um, the pink. Thing. I don't know what was going on with that. Uh, I mean, she did her thing. It's okay. Uh, best rock video, Foo Fighters, Walk. I mean, 
I used to listen to Foo Fighters. Eh, I don't know what to say about this. Uh, because I never watched the music video for Walk, so I don't know. Best video with a message. Lady Gaga, Born This Way. Um, once again, uh, I definitely expected this award to be given to Lady Gaga because just go to show you, yes, you are born this way. There is nothing wrong with you. God made you a certain way, and that's just the way you are. So, uh, big shout out to the LGBT and the the message that she gave, and yeah, uh, going on with uh, best choreography, Beyonce, King B, King B, I'm not saying Queen B, King B, uh, would run the world, girls, by far best choreography ever, it's just amazing, um, Beyonce, there's no words for Beyonce, it's just, she's so epic to the point where you can't say anything because it would just be a downgrade to her epicness, you know? So, um, shout out to B, though. B is pregnant? About time, girl. Um, I can't wait to see this baby. I mean, you're going to have a baby with suit cooler lips. And <laughs> but it's going to probably look a cute baby. Um, best visual effects, Katy Perry featuring Kanye West E.T. There was massive special effects in this so yeah I can see that um some of the awards there were three awards that weren't um, recognized and those awards were best art direction best editing and best cinema <laughs> cinematography and those went to Adele rolling in the deep which is a severely popular uh, video and song um so you know you know what wait I'm a I'm going to wait to get to that. Let's talk about the performances. Lady Gaga's opening performance. Uh, I don't know what was up with that monologue. It kind of went on and on and on. And I don't really know what the heck she was talking about. But the performance in itself was very good. She brought out a um, guy from Queen. Um, I forgot his name. Uh, what was the name? What was the name? What was the name? Mm, I'm drawing a blur. Help me out. Um, anyway... It was great because she uh, came out as a man. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but when you watch it, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. And she performed You and I, which is a hit song. I love You and I. Uh, very funny. Very great video. Uh, Cobra Starship and Sabi? Sabi? Sabi. You make me feel. That was a pre-show performance. No. I mean, Sabi. Sabi, Sabi, whatever. Um, yeah, it's okay to look like Aaliyah, but it's you don't sound like her, so eh, no. Um, moving on, I want to talk about Lady Gaga. Oh, I already talked about you and I. What was the guy's name? His name was Brian May. Yes, okay. Moving on, we have Jay Z and Kanye West, which is forgettable performance. I don't like Otis. I know that is a popular belief, unpopular uh, opinion, but I don't like it. I don't like that song. It's annoying to me. I mean, the instrumental, ugh, it's terrible. Um, but it's supposedly it was a surprise, and I mean, I guess it was okay, but whatever. Pitbull with Neo and Nair. Oh, that's her name. I didn't know who the heck that was. Give me everything. Okay, I mean, the lasers was decent, but uh, Adele, someone like you, this performance gave me life. I mean, it hit my soul, my core. Adele does something to me that is just, wow, you know, it's deep. It's, wow, I can't even explain her. Adele's voice is just amazing. She's by far one of my favorite musicians. Um, moving on to Chris Brown, he did Yeah, which I love this, he gave a shout out to Nirvana and Wu-Tang Clan, I mean, how cool is that, um, he was like Superman, just flying all over the place, acrobat style, so, um, Chris Brown had one of my, one of the favorite performances of MTV Video Music Awards 2011, by far one of the greatest, um, moving on to Beyonce, Love on Top. 
Yes, this will be talked about for years. The legendary Beyonce rubbing her belly to confirm that, yes, she is pregnant by Jay-Z. Which, that just blew up on Twitter. Um, and I love Beyonce. Of course, majority of people love Beyonce. Uh, love on top. You know, a lot of people didn't like this. I saw the Twitter updates about people talking about how she was, like, downgraded and... This isn't her year and everything, but, uh, uh, okay, excuse me, she's pregnant. I mean, alright. Um, and, Young the Giant, who the heck is that? I don't even remember that performance. Young the Giant, oh, oh yeah, Young the Giant, yeah, I don't remember that performance. Lil Wayne, disappointing, disappointing. Auto-tune, pants passes butt, that is so unsanitary and so disgusting, I can't, no. Lil Wayne, I like you, but that performance was whack. It was almost as whack as Young the Giant, My Body, which I almost don't even recognize. And let me talk about one more thing before I get out of here. I love Jesse J. Love Jesse J. But am I the only one that was, like, annoyed by the repetition of Jesse J? I mean, she was just over and over and over. And Jesse J, here's a side note. Don't ever, ever, ever sing TLC's No Scrubs. That is an off-limit song for you. Bruno Mars' performance uh, uh, and uh, dedication to Amy Winehouse, pretty good. I, I loved it, but I don't like Bruno Mars. Britney Spears' dedication, whack. I mean, they buttered this up to make it seem like it was going to be like an epic performance, and it didn't turn out to be like that. It was just like kids dancing and stuff, and I was like, okay, that's cute. Where's the rest of it? But I didn't get that. So uh, I think they owe Britney Spears a lot more than that because that was totally whack, and um, I was very disappointed because she was overshadowed by Beyonce and all the other performers, and that should never happen because we're talking about a legendary... Britney Spears. Come on, she deserves better than that. But that's it for now. I'm going to get up out of here. Make sure you guys comment. Make sure you guys subscribe. And I love you guys. Peace, love, unity, respect. I'm out.